freedom! That's right, people. It's friggin' 8 o'clock. It's time to go home. Probably saying, what the fuck am I talking about? I just got off work. I'm done working weekends now. Today is Sunday, the end. So, that's fucking right on. Um, I want to play some Grand Theft Auto tonight. But, uh, you know, you know. Fucking, there was something I wanted to talk about, too, and I forgot what it was. Oh, I should be writing this shit down. But I forgot my cell phone at home today, so that's awesome. So, chances are, Rex 16, or God knows who else, started texting the living shit out of me. And they probably think I'm mad at them because I never responded. But anyway, let's hit the fucking road and go home. Hey, let's get you guys set up in the car. Let's go home. I don't think I'm really going to do much tonight. Um... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't think I'm gonna barbecue tonight, that's for sure. I know I wanna play some Grand Theft Auto online. Um, I need to make some money in fucking GTA Online. Okay, car, you wanna rev the fuck out again? Holy shit! This just in. My car just wants to fucking go. Like, you guys may have heard that, but she just revved up to like 2500 for no friggin' reason foots off the pedal and it's just like rugger bro it's like I got an idea how about you like accelerate really fast now car that I'm aimed into direction and uh, there's traffic coming because that would be fucking mint huh anyway it's part of the recalls yeah my cruise control button was turned on there just turn it off and uh, maybe now it won't uh, fucking try and take off like a rocket shit like a rocket shit, people. GD2 Go, what the fuck is that? There's like a store there that I've never seen before. Or never acknowledged. But like, now listen to my car. Like, you still have that fucking grinding from the strut, but now the whole front end is, is, is acting like nothing's wrong. Driving smooth as fuck. Like, I really don't get it. I really don't get it. But, uh, no, I, today a friend posted a video on Facebook and uh, commented that uh, Rex and I need to partake and build something like this and what's funny is I saw the video earlier on um, uh, actually I saw the video last night my friend sent me the video last night and what it is these guys took a zero turn mower and put a bunch of servos and whatnot into it and an, R and an RC uh, receiver to control it and literally they crawled their car kind of like what I'm doing behind this Ford and um, crawled their car behind it and buddy in the passenger seat was controlling the mower with his remote control driving her down the street in traffic stopping at stop signs and carrying on but nobody's on this thing it's a ghost mower well for freak's sakes some arsehole comes flying out of nowhere like I'd send you the video but it's one of those Facebook embedded videos and I don't really know how to copy those if it's YouTube I would just send you the link but the problem with these embedded videos is if you're not friends with the person you can't see the video on their page if they have their profile set up that way so chances are it probably is but whatever it was freaking hilarious like this guy gets out of pulls his the mower pulls his car over gets out of the car and just runs full balls after the mower finally catches up to the mower gets on it and he, like he's he's on it and buddy driving and is like uh, going left and right like trying to shake him off like trying to buck him off the mower and he finally gets on it and shuts her down like gets her into the lawn off the side of the road and, and shuts her down and then uh, buddy yells over and he's like oh man thanks you know we couldn't keep up with it and stuff and then buddy realizes when he gets over to the car that buddy had a remote control in his hand it was all just a gag but I'm looking at this and I'm thinking you know it's a funny gag and all but Fuck yeah. Imagine making a, my, my like Dynamark remote controlled. Like I need some high torque uh, servos to roll the gear shifter to be able to go between neutral uh, first and, uh, and fifth and then roll back into reverse and put her in neutral and shit. But you know, with a powerful servo, you could actually actuate that gear shifter no problem remotely. Um, steering could be done with a servo easily just like on an RC car just a bigger scale and uh, acceleration well you just hook a, uh, a servo up to the fucking throttle linkage instead of having the uh, 
the, the, the lever on my mower to accelerate and decelerate. You just have a, throt, a servo hooked up to the throttle linkage, and uh, the harder you push up or whatever you bind that servo to into the uh, channel controller, you know, you can have it for acceleration, left and right to turn, and then you can have uh, a toggle switch to engage and disengage the mower deck. And then have another one that also does something cool like, oh, I don't know, left and lower the deck. So you can control how high and how low your deck sits at any given time. Put a couple wireless IP cameras onto the mower, you know, link them to an iPad, and you can sit on your fucking deck drinking a beer while mowing your lawn, and if a cop says, sir, you are operating a motorized vehicle while under the influence, you can say, fuck you asshole, I'm just driving my RC car. You know what? That would be awesome. That would be a fun thing. And I know where I can get the servos. I would like to get a couple of, uh, what the fuck are those called? It's like an electronic strut, and I already forgot the name for it, but I have them bookmarked at home. Uh, I, got, I can get all the servos and everything online. I, that's a nice bike. Um, I can get all the servos and everything online for this project. And in the end, it would just be hilarious. Like, I'd like to build... And it, the, these guys made it a while back. They built a Ford, for, uh, Ford Tempo. A remote control Ford Tempo. And they drove the fucking ball bag off of this thing. Brought it up to the sand pits and wrecked the car. But the driving portion was removable from the car and easily installed into any other car. I kind of like to do that, but for lawn mowers, but the problem is, is no mower is the same. They all have like, some of them have different linkages. Some of them, the choke is controlled uh, by the throttle. Like I've seen that on, uh, oh, what the fuck was it that had that recently? I think it was the white that I gave to Rex. The white had that where, yeah, the choke was full open throttle, which I never really understood because I always start my mowers at half throttle, except for the push mower. That thing just starts and goes. No, but I think having uh, the ability to RC car your fucking mower, that'd be, I don't know, I think that'd be friggin' neat, you know? Being able to mow your grass without having to be out there mowing your grass. And you set up a couple IP cameras so you can keep an eye on the, on the area. And that way there you can see what the mower sees. But if you're sitting there watching it, you should be able to RC mow your lawn without too much effort. It's just, you know, nice having that extra point of view in case needed. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, yeah, Adam, you'll never do this project. And you're probably right. I never will. Because I just don't have the funds at the time right now. And I'm possibly losing my job. Well, not by possibly. I mean, I am losing my fucking job. It's 100% it's happening. But, um... You know, it's a cool concept, and I'm sure somebody else out there with more funding for the project and who has an electrical know-how would be able to produce all the parts and, and put it together and have a friggin' just a heyday driving the shit out of this thing. But, um, yeah, yeah. All in time, all time. Because it's not like I don't know <coughs> enough people to get a free friggin' RC remote off of them. I know and you're probably saying, oh Adam, you should have kept the one for the truggy and used that one. Well, and what the fuck was I gonna sell with the truggy? But, you know, even Hobby King, you can pick up a cheap friggin' remote off of there for like 30 bucks. Doesn't have to be anything fantastic, just has to have enough channels to do what you wanna do. And that's where it comes into the expenses. More channels, probably more money. I don't know, I haven't looked into it that much with the remote. But, as far as all the hardware for the uh, mower goes, yeah, I could easily pull that off. Price, that's a problem, but the hardware itself, I know where to get it. It's just a matter of, you know. Anyway, we're almost home, so uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys when I get home. So until then, peace the frig out. All right, you're home now. I know Oreo probably has to squeeze off for like a real grumpy, so I figured uh, we'll let him outside and play fetch. I think this is a new record. Oh no, he's peeing. Son of a bitch. That was like two ball throws. Look at him. Peeing with the ball in his mouth. What a freaking dog. Look at him. Look at him. He's just deckered. Come here. Can I have the ball? Okay, can you put it in my hand? Get it. Get it. Put it in my hand. Good boy. Freaking dirty old orange hockey ball. Four ball tosses and bowel evacuation. He even had to drop the ball for this one. Must be a good one. Sweet, maybe I won't have shit on my carpet this month, this uh, night. You never know, maybe I won't. Here's hoping not, because I'm sick and tired of freaking cleaning up dog shit in my house for fuck's sakes. 
I know he's rebelling against me because, uh... Hey, where's your ball? Go get your ball. Go get it. Stupid dog left the ball over there. Hey, Dum Dum, over there. Over there. Go get it. Oh, man, he's stupid. Hurry up. Go get your ball. No, it's over there. Dum Dum, come here. Look, it's over there. Straight ahead. The orange thing. Good boy. Sometimes I don't know about you. You're stupid. Normally I cut her short the moment the dog starts doing the dry hacks. Yeah, we had to cut her short. He really wants a drink of water. Look at him. Just fucking clearing the bowl, eh? Good boy. <laughs> He's fucking right. Right poop now. Give him a couple runs outside there and it usually, usually is enough to uh, calm his tits, as one would say. But, uh, hey, Hoozle, I ate my uh, bangers and mash for supper, and I'm not really that hungry. Originally, I was going to barbecue a steak, but uh, I might just say fuck it for now. And uh, I kind of want to go play some Grand Theft Auto online. I've been itching to do that all day for some reason. And uh, I just want to have a lazy fucking night, that's all. Because uh, that's all right sometimes. They're cheaper that way, too. Just saying. But, um, any Hoozle. I'll check in later on if I have something else to talk about, but uh, let me know what you guys think about that RC mower. If you've seen it done before elsewhere, or if you've seen plans for it or whatnot, let me know in the comments below. And also don't forget to leave a comment because your comment could be used on a commenting on comments video. Yeah. Anyway, I'll talk in a bit. Some friggin' people, I tell ya. It's like super late, people. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto all night tonight and it's been freaking glorious i'm gonna go let the dog out but um i let him out at 10 but i'll let him out again now because he did just eat so we might have to drop a deuce or he may have done one on the carpet no he didn't good boy so we will go let him outside let him do his business i want to watch one pug life and the thc channel and then I'm probably going to call her a night. But uh, yeah, played some Grand Theft Auto there. Made some money, bought my smart car that I've been dying to get. Because we want to do the smart car challenge. But the problem is with the smart car, um, because I own it, if anybody destroys it, they have to pay the insurance on it. Which I don't know what it is, probably fuck all. But uh, could be fun, you know. Uh, a smart car versus a bunch of whatever the frig people get. And see how long that smart car can survive. Could be a good game. Could be kind of fun. Maybe. Probably not. Who knows? Anyway, people. I'm going to shut her down here. Go watch some Pug 1. I just let the dog out. All that nonsense. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to go watch some Pug 1. Have a couple more beers and call her, call her a night. So if you like today's video, click on the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people. Keep on vlogging.